Okay, so you've kind of messed around with just single note rhythm on B flat over this backing track here uh, from YouTube, the 120 beats per minute jazz backing track. So now I've got some basic jazz vocabulary here. Scales are great, but it's kind of like the alphabet, right? You have individual letters, and unless you can find a good way to put those together into a meaningful word, it's just kind of a jumble, you know, it's like alphabet soup, and you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I put this together into words? So this basic jazz vocabulary sheet has a few licks in the key of B flat. So let's go through a few of those. Uh, I'll just kind of play down the sheet, and, and then we can talk about some ways of modifying those to make them yours. Okay, here we go. Turn up the volume. From the top. One, two. There's the first line. Next line. start changing the rhythm and the note values so we're saying that word in a different way with a different uh, framing right or a different uh, inflection so it can mean different things depending on how you say it right just like words in English or any other language So that last little bit was off of the uh, minor blues scale, which you might be more familiar with. But anyway, there's some basic vocabulary. Have fun with it. Uh, I hope I've shown how you can take just one little idea. Tonight, I'll be. All right, so <laughs> YouTube. I uh, hope I've shown how you can take one little idea, uh, a word in the jazz vocabulary, change it up, different inflections, and as you're moving forward, just start stringing these along and creating sentences, right? So you've got your vocabulary uh, and you're making sentences. And remember the scale is just your alphabet. 
So you have to put that together in a meaningful way to make words, sentences, arguments, and so forth. Okay, thanks y'all, have fun.